For those of you who are taking class with me this fall 2021 semester, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about how you can navigate around Trello. As you know, all of the course content and all of the activities that we're doing will be in Trello. And we've talked a little bit about some tips that you can use to help you navigate uh, around uh, the different uh, content that we have here. But I want to provide a, a couple of additional tips uh, as we are uh, getting into the class and, and uh, I th feel you're, you're getting more familiar with Trello, I want to give you some additional tips on how you can find certain pieces of information. Let's say that you want to find uh, an assignment that you want uh, to, that you need to complete, but maybe you're having questions about, well, where the assignments are and how to locate those. The first thing here I'll show you is that when you go into the Trello board, you do have an option to toggle back and forth between seeing the labels or the names of the labels, or if you want to hide them, you can do that as well. Sometimes it's easy easier to see at a glance the uh, the names of the labels, especially if you're you're not sure about you know what the colors represent. Uh, I've mentioned this before, though. Make sure that you have the Chrome extension Pro for Trello. This will give you an option to view certain lists remember each list for our purposes will include the the work that we're doing per week so this is week one week two and so on and it goes all the way across horizontally right until week 16. but let's say that you don't want to show all of the list at once you can select uh, the list that you want by just clicking on and off those that you want to have appear on your screen this is a function of uh, Pro for Trello. So if you don't have this option, you know, again, make sure that you've installed this extension. I think there's an add-on as well for Firefox if you're using that browser, but this should work for any derivative of Chrome if you're using like uh, Opera or um, Brave or other, other types of browsers. Okay, so... The first thing I want to show you here is that by default, when you open up Trello, as you know, you will see the board view. Okay, so this is the, the default view. But sometimes, especially as we're getting more and more content here within Trello, sometimes it might be more useful to view the same content in the calendar view. But notice here I clicked the, the, down, the uh, down arrow and selected calendar. And here you can see per day, which activities or which content uh, relates to that particular day or that particular week, right? So here, for example, a podcast that might last one week will show as, as it appears here. Maybe there are some other activities that are very specific to a, a day. And so this view might be useful. You'll still, still be able to access this card by clicking and viewing the content in the card as a pop-up. Right, so you can easily go to each one of these. When you're finished with this view, you can either select the X arrow or you can just go back to the drop down menu and go back to the board. Now, there are some other options that appear here, but I think for our purposes, uh, either the calendar view or the board view would be the most useful. There might be times where the timeline, which is more like a, a Gantt chart, might be useful, where you have the, the days that appear here along the top, and then you have all of the, the content that appears here. And, uh, or I should say the, the lists appear here along the left-hand side column. All right, so the board view, maybe the timeline, but certainly the calendar view, I think will be useful, and it'll be a, a, a different way of accessing the course content within our Trello. Now, the last thing I'd like to show you here, I'll go back to the board view. And let's say that we want to find the graded assignments. We're, we're trying to see or trying to find only those activities where we're going to receive a grade. So if you open up the show menu along the right hand side, all right, uh, let me go back here. All right, so when you open this up, sometimes it, the main menu will not appear. It depends on where you left where you left off last time when you were viewing this, okay? It will, it will stay 
it will maintain the same view that you were in before the last time you opened up this menu. So if you're ever not sure exactly where you are in the menu system, you can always just click the back arrow. This is the main menu. This is where you want to start. And from this main menu, you have an option to search cards. Now from here, you can select graded assignment and then have only those cards that have the label graded assignment will appear. And you can, of course, combine these searches if you wish. But I think the graded assignment is probably one that you'll find useful if you're just wanting to find the assignments or the cards that include a grade. Now, if you're in the calendar view, you can do the same thing. Notice by default, it maintains the search. It still maintains the uh, search for those cards that have a graded assignment. And uh, this is useful as well because maybe we forget if this, especially if, if it's collapsed, we might forget that we're actually in a search that we have a search result. So you might occasionally glance up here to see if there are uh, any searches being applied at the time that you're viewing this information because maybe you don't want the search or maybe you don't want the filter. Maybe you want to see all of the cards. So again, you'll need to go back to your search. In this case, deselect the label and now all of your cards appear. So just, and notice up here that the search results have disappeared. Now it appears as I go back and, and you can always click here as well and that will remove any filters or any search that you had previously set. Okay, so just a couple of ways of kind of going back and forth between filtering the cards as you need to or searching specific cards and then making sure that you're viewing all the cards when that's desirable and when that's what you want to do. All right, so I think through searching the cards, accessing the different views that we've talked about here today, and also just having an overview of which list you want to appear in your browser, I think will be will go a long way in helping you find the content in our Trello board. Again, some of this we've talked about already, maybe some other aspects we haven't. But obviously what, we're, what I'm talking about here today is best applied to a desktop computer. There are some limitations when you're on a mobile device, but hopefully combining these two, uh, these different strategies when you're navigating around Trello will help you find uh, the information. If, of course, if you're not sure, not able to find something in Trello, let me know. Remember that I'm using Trello both for our activities that we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, but I'm also using it as a planning tool. So just because it appears in Trello doesn't necessarily mean that you need to be doing it at, at that time. I will always discuss in great detail in class in our online sessions, you know, what it is we're doing. And again, everything will be in Trello that we're talking about, the activities that we're doing, the input sessions, it will all be within Trello. But I will try to make it clear, you know, what we're doing and when we're supposed to be completing it. And then the Trello sh should hopefully complement that description, that conversation that we're having in live classes. So again, if you see a task in Trello, we haven't talked about it, uh, don't worry about it. We'll get to it. And I, I will, as a general practice, I do not assign, assign assignments in Trello that I haven't talked about first in our online sessions. All right, guys, I hope this helps. Again, if you have any issues or questions about Trello, feel free to reach out to me using the uh, chat feature in Microsoft Teams.